Recall that authors don't make every single point explicitly. Sometimes they expect readers to read between the lines and draw conclusions or inferences which are supported by the passage. Some inferences, called passage-based inferences, require you to read the entire passage and understand the main idea, tone, and purpose in order to come to a valid conclusion. Let's look at an example. So keep this question in mind as we read through the next passage. How does the you addressed in the passage feel about the narrator's destination? Remember, we're going to be reading between the lines and drawing conclusions that are strongly supported even if they're not explicitly stated. Here's the passage. You will rejoice to hear that no disaster has accompanied my enterprise which you have regarded with such evil forebodings. Now, I feel a breeze which has traveled from the regions towards which I am advancing. I try in vain to be persuaded that the pole is the seat of frost and desolation. It ever presents itself to my imagination as the region of beauty and delight. Remember, we want to know how the you addressed in the passage feels about the narrator's destination. Now, in the passage, we notice that the you doesn't like the narrator's journey. This is said in the sentence highlighted here. In addition, the narrator is unconvinced that the place he's going, the North Pole, is going to be icy and barren, or the seat of frost and desolation. Now, who could be trying to convince him? Well, probably this you who's addressed and who doesn't like his journey. And we can imagine that if the you doesn't like the journey very much, they also probably feel that the destination is icy, barren, and possibly evil. 